Now Gilbert Park is closed. The town is serious about making sure that no one gets in. Disappointing a lot of ball players, the city shut down Elliott District Park and 3TV's Amanda Goodman's live in Gilbert with more on what's going on there tonight, Amanda. Well, Jared and Brandon, you can tell the town really doesn't want anyone in here. They have a police officer here blocking off the main entrance. He's also providing people information. We're told this is all because there's some safety concerns inside the facility. Unfortunately, nobody passed that memo along to the people who play here. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Confusion all around at Elliott District Park in Gilbert tonight after players and fans showed up to find barricades and police blocking access. We actually play on Thursday nights and we're only in week three right now and uh, kind of distraught over the whole situation. The facility, which features eight replica ballparks and a whole lot more, is run by Big League Dreams, but it's a Gilbert-owned park. In a posting on their website, the town said the facility needs $11.6 million worth of safety repairs and will be closed likely through early 2019. I mean, I understand I don't want a wall falling down on me, but at the same time, the fact that they didn't give anybody a heads up is, is the big deal with me. Dylan Bush and his team play every Thursday. They just had a game and no one said anything about a possible closure. He says they've paid Big League about $1,000 for the season, which is only in week three. We already paid our fees and whatnot, so that's don't know what's going to happen with that either. The town said the closure was implemented today ahead of the monsoons, which could only increase the safety risk. Now, no one from the town would comment beyond what they posted on their website, sending pen, citing rather pending litigation. I did reach out to Big League and I was told they were working on a statement, but then I never heard back from them. At this point, the players tell me all they really want now is to get their money back. Reporting live in Gilbert, Amanda Goodman, 3TV. Amanda, thank you.